views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Sunflower Media Mint. Some programs might include strong images or language that not might be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Ever wonder for what's next? It's time for something new. Define things. Straightforward. Different perspectives. It is black and white. You are listening to Preview by the New Q. Back to the pod on a Wednesday night. It's the 30th of September. Welcome to the preview by the new you. This is H again. Well, for tonight, I'm going to be alone in the podcast because Lena's going to be not going to be with me. Uh, Reg as well is going into some month and uh, issues or concerns trapped in the office right now. So hey, yeah, it's only uh, only going to be H for tonight. But uh, for those who have just uh, tuned in to us or who just well found out what the new you is all about. Uh, it's a black and white podcast. It's your black and white podcast that you can really download it uh, and listen to it again. All of our previous episodes are in Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and then Google Podcasts. You can listen to it. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of topics out there. It's it's really well diverse in terms of the industries that we talk about. So uh, if if you're looking for some, uh, they call this new stuff to learn, new new things to listen, you can go check it out. Uh, check our website www.thenewuph.com um, all of our contents are there so just check it for tonight um, well we, we we're going to talk about something that's really really honestly it's really important because it's a necessity for all of us and we're talking about um, well houses our homes acquiring your own home and well in the time of this pandemic there are a lot of questions arising to it so we decided to to make this episode the the new real, real estate and well we have uh, a good friend on the show Aniel Madrid welcome to the show Aniel hi H hi. how are you ito um more corporate works at umaga and then at that night time doing this <laughs> podcast uh uh, with with the new you, so it's it's cool, na man. I mean, we, for the past months, uh, for us, right now, medyo bumabalik na, eh. medyo medyo okay na yung mga tao ole. Um, they're they're starting to, as we say nga nung previous episodes, people are starting to live with the virus. Kung baga parang exactly. Uh, we, and it's also traffic in Edsa already. So. Yeah. Oh, ganon <laughs> Back to normal. Na. Back to normal na traffic. Traffic is everywhere and even in the internet, sobrang traffic na kasi schools are back, di ba? So, uh, in, in the morning, mapapansin nyo, sobrang bagal, ang hirap mag-livestream, ang hirap whatever. Kasi the students are also consuming the internet also. Uh, kayo, kamusta kayo? Kamusta kayo with the industry? Well, for for those who don't know, uh, Aniel, Aniel uh, is, um, yung ko sabihin veteran, pero kumbaga experience or seasoned <laughs> in the industry of real estate. So, Kamusta? Kamusta ang industriya? Kamusta kayo sa real estate industry right now? Well, right now, everything is going back to normal. Um, mm. Like you said, um, construction is back. So, for the longest time na nahold yung construction. So, um, there are several delays when it comes to turnover of units. Mm. So, that's why. Um, but right now, we're slowly picking up the pace. That's good. For, for that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tapos, yeah, so everything's... Um, currently digital so wow. i still work from home um we meet virtually and even sales has transitioned online so Mm-mm. virtual virtual tours are now a thing well it's a thing oh. before but it's very useful right now Mm-mm. um because that's how you close the sale so, oh, sobrang ano, sobrang sikat nga ni si Julie ba yun? <laughs> I think sa YouTube, medyo meron ng mga gumagawa nun right now, eh, di ba? Parang yung mga virtual talaga na house tour, na yun yung, yeah. I mean, it, it's a way of them for selling. And it's really good. Uh, mm-hmm. li- like what, ano, di ba? Well, with the new you kasi, this is an independent platform. Eh. Kumbaga, we, we talk about industries, we talk about lots of stuff. And uh, we look out kung ano ginagawa ng mga tao. And somehow, maybe mm-hmm. it's a way of adapting as well, kung how you can we can use it in your own ways as well. And, and that's good that you guys are also transitioning or adapting to the digital side of things. Because it's the only way. Wala naman tayong magagawa. I mean, if, if there are two things. Eh. Either you go back outside, di ba? And once you go back outside, syempre, meron na market as we say na bumabalik. Pero hindi naman katulad mm-hmm. ng dati. Like, sobrang foot traffic. Kasi nga, we have to follow still social distancing and all. 
yeah, or yeah. yeah or or you adapt to to what's in now i mean what's now which is the digital mm-hmm. so kung ano naman you you mentioned diba your op- your operations right now or um, i'm currently part mm-hmm. of the business development mm, okay so yeah so during the lockdown um well during the first few weeks of the lockdown syempre there's uncertainty so uh-huh. everything's business as usual for especially for us because since um, my role is really planning for what's ahead. So mm-hmm. we're not really um, bogged down by the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, it, but for, for for our client relations, um, it's also business as usual because they during the early onset of the pandemic, um, they had to attend to clients, especially those na tinamaan yung turnover ng units. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Those that have concerns with their um, loans, yung uh, magjujun na yung balance nila. So oh, those uh-huh. kind of things. So um, there are uh, constant communication with the client because they have to understand that um, they won't be affected or the their payment terms won't be affected by, by the pandemic. So, yeah. So, because during that time, the announcement was every every two weeks. So, every two weeks, yeah, they're hoping oh, that we can go back to work, right? But para nung ganun, nung, nung time na yun, no, who was hit? Hmm. Kumbaga, uh, did the insurance kick in? Kumbaga, for, for those who are paying their loans? Actually, no. Um, Majority is they postponed the, the ah, payment. So, okay. parang, um, since there are no or very limited bank transactions, they were asking to um, deposit their <laughs> post dated checks on a later date later so they date. can fund the checks. Uh, but um, some of the clients naman continues lang yung payment because at the end of the day, um, may interest or may, may penalties. But then, yun nga, yun yung gray area when it comes to, to um, the financial aspect. Even mm-hmm. with the banks, diba? Parang, um, the banks have very limited um, transactions or very limited office hours. Pero, um, yung payments and yung bills, they're there to learn. So, exactly. Oh, oh. Diba? <laughs> Actually, not, not just, ano, not just real estate, but kahit yung, ano, um, sa kotse yata, ganun, diba? diba? Oo. Oh. Oh. Lahat ng loan, actually. <laughs> oh, tama, tama. Anyway, that, that that's good to hear, and I think uh, with with what's happening right now, that it, we we are slowly picking up, and uh, I would say, mm-hmm. even how slow it is, it's still a good sign. I mean, we we have to keep this this economy running, and also, maganda maganda, uh, and and that's the message that we want to say here, pa um, it's not yet safe. Yes, it's not a, it's not yet safe outside, but um, mm-hmm. come to think of it, we have to really live live with the virus right now. Yes. Na, we have to find ways on, on how we can all survive. Because if we go, mm-hmm. uh, if we just sit there on our homes and all, or we can sit on our homes, continue the work there, pero we have to, yun nga, we have to be innovative in a way. We have to mm-hmm. to, to change our ways to cope up with what's happening. Yeah, yeah. And and the good thing right now, I mean, with kanina you mentioned about, uh, I think developments are, are back, diba? I mean, yung mga building mm-hmm. of the, yeah. of the house, is construction is back. Uh, may nabago? May nabago sa mga operations? For the operations, of course. Um, we have to observe the safety protocols. Like, mm-hmm. yung standard, mask, uh, face okay. shield. So, we observe that. And then, some developers, they do um, rapid tests, especially for workers who are coming back to Manila uh-huh. mm-hmm. from the provinces. So, some, some developers do that. Um, actually, the other... I think that was that weekend. Um, nagkaroon mm-hmm. ng news about construction workers complaining about the mask and the uh, face shields. Mm-hmm. They were saying it was it's a hazard. It's for more them. of a hazard than a help. Yeah. Like for um, example, there would be the welders. Mm-hmm. Imagine you have to wear the welders mask. Tapos the you mask, have, no? Tapos you're required to to um, wear mask uh, pa face sa loob. shield pa. Tapos mask pa ulit sa loob. So three coat, no? Them, uh, Oh, so for them, parang mas hazard siya than a uh, safety protocol Mm-mm. or makakatulong sa safety nila. And it, it's good to hear this this stuff kasi kumbaga, uh, yun nga, sinasabi natin, we're, we're in the same boat, we, we're in the same shit. Pero when we talk about it, diba, magkakaiba naman yung mga pinagdadaanan. Eh. Like for example, yan, simpleng perspective ng ng welder natin, diba? We, we mm-hmm. don't see it eh, na nakikita natin gano'n na, okay, I have... No, if I'm doing this on a regular basis, meron na akong welder's mask eh. Tapos, mm-hmm. ibisasama pa natin, syempre, syempre yung mga safety protocols right now. So, ang dami yeah. nun. And it's something that 
di ko alam ah. I mean I'm, I'm not a medical person kumbaga if it's re- how how that should be really evaluated and all uh, mm-hmm. kumbaga what's the need for the mask pa ba dun sa loob or really yeah. a face shield pa tapos kasi meron ka ng welder's mask pa so maybe something is redundant mm-hmm. in there pero it's good no kasi I mean but but aside from that meron kanina na mention mo na I mean with the test and all kasi para rin maiwasan mm-hmm. natin yung mga outbreak of course syempre meron ba kasi yes. like we had last season, we're talking to, well, parang mga film directors or content mm-hmm. creators, limited sila nung bumalik sila eh. Parang, dati ang production, kaya mga 35 na tao, tapos nung mm-hmm. nagkaroon ng bumalik ng konti, kailangan 50 na lang. So, same ba with the construction? We're... Yes, uh, same din siya. So, we still observe social distancing kasi mm-hmm. very strict din siya. So, mm-hmm. which is why um, some of the turnovers or completion of units are delayed because of that. Because mm. limited the new workers. So for example, in one house you have what twenty workers dapat. Mm. So in order to turn over the unit on time. So right now you just uh, ten people working there. So unlaki na nadagdag sa timeline and for us that's a cost. Totoo. Totoo. So at, at, pero kasi, I mean, we, I, I'd rather go there rather than, di ba, makadagdag tayo dun sa, sa bigger problem. But that's, but yeah. still, uh, maintindihan natin that, uh, in a sense, business is suffering. Kung baga kasi, that's additional cost para dun sa mga gumagawa eh, and at the same time. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh... Things were hmm. open, di ba? Parang, exactly. I'd rather take the 50% capacity than nothing at all. Exactly. <laughs> kasi for, what? three months walang construction so. exactly exactly I mean, I mean that those are again baby steps so we at least we we, mm-hmm. we we take it kung ano yung meron sa atin right now we take it uh, rather than none at all um one still better than zero that's it parang ganun lang uh with i mean ito isa pa uh, i have a question with i mean dun sa mga nagbabalak diyan parang oy titingin ng titingin ng bahay titingin ng atlog mm-hmm. diba or mga bata pa, yung mga tipang tatay mag-invest na ganito. Mm-hmm. How do you see it? I mean, on a siguro personal standpoint, on, on your perspective as well, is it advisable to to buy or uh, to buy a house right now? At this point? Kasi, well, the, um, sorry, sorry uh, for, for some kasi, di ba, parang yung iba, ang advice nila nung nag-start yung pandemic is to be is to, liqu- to be ano, liquid. Liquid. Yeah, yeah. mag-liquidate. Kung baga, nakita natin, how, oh, baby, ano na natin to, benta natin to, or honey, di ba, mga mag-asawa, nag-uusap-usap, mm-hmm. ma, ano na natin mm-hmm. to, i-let go na natin to, ganyan, na, uh, yeah. uh, kotse, ibenta, or bahay, ibenta. Mm-hmm. We have to liquidate kasi we don't know kung, kung paanong mangyayari. So, right now, na nakikita natin, ECQ, MECQ, GCQ, whatever mm-hmm. CQ there is, nag start na ulit ulit, ba? So, is it safe na again to really invest in something solid, like a house? Well, as a general rule, um, the best time to buy real estate is always yesterday. Because it's always cheaper. Mm. <laughs> okay. mm. But um, during this time, I think um, if you have the means to, um, now is a perfect, perfect time to take advantage of the special payment terms that some developers are offering. Because mm. with the pandemic, um, some developers are more flexible when it comes to um, the payment terms. Um, Meron na nag-offer, no down payment. Mm. Okay. So, um, if if you have the means to, um, take advantage of that. But also be prudent. Kasi sometimes people think na, Uy, um, okay yung financial or parang payment scheme ngayon because it's pandemic, yada yada. Um, but they don't realize that they really can't afford the housing. Tama. Okay, so as a general rule of thumb, um, you should allocate 30% of your income when you buy a property. So that should go to your amortization or your loan payment. So if you cannot live with a 70%, mm-hmm. eh, I'd rather you delay um, purchasing the house because um, you might be scraping just to purchase or just to, to pay for it on a monthly basis. Mm-hmm. At least, at least yun yung, I think there, that's a good, uh, what you call this, perspective into it na kailangan isipin ng mga tao din. Kasi, madaling sabihin that, ano eh, ako, medyo nung mga, nung mga tipong, well, younger days, parang, diba, oy gusto ko magkabahay, sige, nakakita ng murang down payment, sige, bili. Tapos, hindi naman matutuloy-tuloy, or hindi mo sustain hanggang sa nawala yung bahay. And it happens, it really happens, uh, lalo na para dun sa mga sobrang impulsive, bumili. 
'di ba? Na para bang uh, lalo pa right now, 'di ba? Hindi ko naman sinasabing lahat, pero yung pinaka mentality ren na ah, I need to be stable by this point in my life. And, and nothing nothing bad is uh-huh. meron doon eh, but the problem right now nagbibigay ng deadline. <laughs> Oo, oh, nagbibigay ng deadline sa buhay nila, 'di ba? Na dapat at age ganito may bahay na ako. At age ganito may asawa na ako, at age ganito may sasakyan na ako or whatever, 'di ba? Pero ang mahirap dun sa dulo is okay, uh, you don't know what's coming in between eh. 'Yun yung pinaka-challenge. And like like what happened for us uh, 'di ba? With this pandemic na what if you're in the middle? Or what if you are na, na stuck ka na doon eh? I mean, if you're paying a house, ano ba pinaka anong terms yan? 10 years, 15 years, you're in the middle of paying something. And then boom. Ang daming nawala ng trabaho, honestly. Ang daming mm-hmm. nangyari yan within this pandemic. And that's really sad to, to hear. And sustaining, of course, lahat ng mga loans, that's going to be stressed dun sa mga taong yun. That's, that's, that's the sad yeah. part of this pandemic. But I think it's, it's good to hear that, uh, yeah, with, with, with the economy and with everyone trying to live again, trying to, to not really go back to normal because uh, this is a different normal that we really have to embrace too. But uh, more of like yeah, like what we mentioned, live with the virus. We 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 need to start uh, thinking about it. Um, i i prioritize pa rin yung dapat i prioritize. Pero at the end of the day, take the necessary safety precautions. <laughs> exactly. Well, going going there, no. Because ito this is something na I think no mga ano ba early two thousand siguro. Oh, early to <laughs> early two thousands. Medyo nandyan yung ane eh, kainita ng sarap mag-work from home. Yeah, di ba? I mean, yung mga, yung mga ganang topic, eh, na parang, yeah. oh, yan ang trabaho mo. Ah, oh, ano, online, ano ako, ganito, uh, uh-huh. tran- uh, parang translator, or, or, or mga ganon, di ba? Medical mga, two, or, medical transcriber. Yes, may ganon, or yung uh-huh. online na nag-teacher, di ba? Sa ibang students, sa ibang bansa. So, I, I work at home. Kaya naman kamag-anak mo, wala kang trabaho, di ba? <laughs> Oo. <laughs> kasi sa bahay ka lang lagi, tapos di ka umaalis. At masama doon, nakaharap ka sa computer. So, feeling nila, wala ang ginagawa sa buhay. So, mm-hmm. ang maganda ngayon is, um, ito na. Ito na, binigay na sa ating lahat. Okay, sige, mag-work from home kayo. So, with with the work from home culture being adapted right now, di ba? Kasi, mm-hmm. we've seen how the workforce within the metro uh, nanggagaling yan usually sa south side, sa east side, malalayo, rural areas, di ba? Mm-hmm. We see, oy, taga San ka, taga Laguna ako, tapos babiyahe ko, ganito, mm-hmm. ganyan, malayo-layo yan, papunta na kayo Makati, even the one ride lang, pero malayo pa rin. The uh-huh. reason is because, andun yung trabaho eh. Kung baga, nasa sabi, mm-hmm. sa Makati yung trabaho eh, nandun talaga yung kabubuhay eh, all. so kailangan ka pumunta doon. But right now, with the work from home culture being implemented and embraced by the companies, do you see ba na uh, people are going back out of the metro? Kung baga, they can still work kasi within the metro eh, pero hindi na kailangan yeah. bumiyahe, di ba? So, how yeah. do you see it affecting your industry? Kasi most likely, it's, what do you call this, it's logical to get a house outside the I metro. metro oh, so how do you see it affecting the industry in terms of the real estate? Okay, in terms of real estate, rent, um, real estate rent is down. Right? Because you don't have offices and some of the tenants um, mm-hmm. for residential mm-hmm. move back to their homes outside of the metro. Totoo. So, rental is definitely down during this pandemic and probably by the, until, by, until the end of 2020. Um, oh. But then, uh, when it comes to sale of houses and lots, even before the pandemic, um, you can see all the developments are outside of Metro Manila already. Okay. The ones in Metro Manila are mostly condominiums that are um, targeting people who are working within the Metro. Mm. So, diba? so they don't have to travel, what, two, three hours every day um, to get to work. So, But the house and lot market, um, it's very prominent already kahit mga five years ago. So you have Bulacan, you have Laguna, Cavite. Um, Ngayon nga, even the far flanks of Cavite, nandun yung mga tao, eh, di ba? Parang nandun oh, yung mga oh, tao. Di ba? Yung parang hindi mo maakalain na i-develop five years ago, pero nandun yung housing right now. So, um, I think one of the reasons why is also the the government project, the build, build, build. So, mm-hmm. if I if I remember it correctly, the connection of Skyway, um, SLEX to NLEX, uh-huh. will be opened in November of this year. 
This year na. Okay. Uh, this year, yeah. Um, initial target nun was April, but then due to the pandemic, so na delay siya. So I think it will be opened by November. So that would help immensely uh, when it comes to traveling from uh, in and out of Manila. If you live in the south or you live in the north or you want to go from north all the way to the south, mm-hmm. you, know, you don't have to pass by it. Oh, so ma- that, that helps. That helps um, when it comes to the sale of properties, which is why tumataas na yung values outside of Metro Manila. It's good. And then for work from home, I think it's not only real estate. Eh. Um, we also mm. have to consider the facilities. Because sometimes you, ha- you wanted to work outside of Metro Manila, but in- internet connection is bad. Sa so, wala ka rin choice, di ba? Sa pa yun, oo. <laughs> so, so, balik ka ulit ng Manila. But so, for, for uh, provinces, especially those nearby Manila, na stable na may internet connection, um, people are moving out. Actually, I have a co- colleague, um, they moved to to Malolos. Bulahan. Um, doon na siya mm. na work from home, yes. <laughs> Oo, yun yung isa sa issues din right now. It's actually a good point, Aniel, about the the internet natin, di ba? Parang, uh, mm. sa totoo lang, within the metro nga, minsan sablay pa eh. Di ba? I mean, the, and and common, ano yan, ah, common, ako, ako, I'm still in the IT industry in the morning. So, kumbaga, Mm-hmm. common common talk pa rin yan na tipong oh, ano ba tong infrastructure natin in the morning or what and yun nga sinasabi natin kanina it's really affected right now also with the schools kasi something na hindi pa na factor in ng mga tao is that uh, dati ang users mo ng internet is the corporate or yung mga as in the usual users diba mm-hmm. pero nung nag, ganito nga nag work from home sabihin na natin hindi totally maayos na na-forecast na mm-hmm kung gaano karaming estudyante ang gagamit ng internet. Yeah. Oo. Tapos video pa. Video pa. Oo. So, yung content dati, kung baga kung browsing, browsing lang yan, or yung ibang nag-online school na nasasagot lang ng worksheet mm-hmm. online, puro text lang yan, right now video, di ba? So, isipin yeah. mo yung, yung nga, sabi nga namin eh, now, digital is the new physical, and that's also relative mm-hmm. to traffic traffic is also now in digital. Kung baga, yung internet natin, sobrang na rin yung traffic eh. That's the reason kung bakit napapansin na iba. Sobrang naglalag, nagbabagal, and yeah. well, guys, wala tayong magagawa dun. Um, pangit talaga eh. Anta- talaga aantayin lang natin yun. <laughs> Kahit anong provider yan, kani- di ba, recently lang, we- we've seen the news about uh, providers yeah, na nagkaroon ng... Cables yeah. Na, uh, guys, hindi nila problema yun. Or hindi nila kasalanan yun. Kasi... Submarine cables for those. Uh, I'm kapakagik ako na konti dito. It's a line connecting us, the Philippines, going outside. So the whole internet is a whole network na magkakonekta. Mm-hmm. So kung parang nasira ang EDSA, traffic ka sa EDSA. Diba? Yun lang naman yun eh. So ngayon, parang yung EDSA going out of the Philippines na putol. So, or yun, yun, yun yung pinaka naging problema. That's why ang traffic natin going out of the Philippines, going to the internet, eh, medyo babagal. So don't blame your providers kasi hindi nila problema <laughs> Pero, uh, minsan... Pag walang connection. Uh, pag uh, wala, yun <laughs> talaga... Yan, ibang usapan yan. Pero, I mean, that's what the new year is all about naman eh. Uh, kami, we, we tend to be independent. We tend to be unbiased, kumbaga. But still, take a stand. Pag kasi sinabi namin, hmm. pangit, pangit ng servisyo, sabi mo pangit. Kasi pangit talaga. <laughs> hindi yung tipong, um, no, 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 hindi. Magsasabi ka pa maganda, pero pag talikod, uh, no. that's... that's that's not in our DNA with the new you. Kumbaga, we we talk straight here. We talk straight forward, black and white. That's the, that's why you mm-hmm. as you see as you see the show right now. It's black and white because we encourage everyone to well take a stand, be a you in the society. And um, ko anin pa mo sabihin mo yun. That's it. Um, another another thing. I think uh, I think you have ano rin, eh, inputs on this one. Uh, being in this industry mm-hmm. as well. Uh, nakikita natin how consumer goods are being developed and released right now, di ba? Kung baga, mm-hmm. we've, see, we've always watched Apple and Samsung and Huawei or whatever brand there is mm-hmm. na nagre-release ng phone every year and yet people yeah. are buying it. Kakabili mo lang ng iPhone mm-hmm. this year, next year bibili ka ulit, pagpapalit ka. And you, you'll spend what, hundreds of thousands of pesos at wala kang pakialam doon. Basta, ang mentality pa rin nating mga consumer, eh, dapat bago gamit ko. <laughs> diba? Worthy investment ang gamit. That's that's true. I mean, I cannot blame. Kung may pambili, bumili, sige, okay lang. Pera nyo yun eh. I cannot blame them. But, at the, at the other side of things, we've also see, seen Internet of Things. Kung baga, dati, uh, nakikita natin yung, uy, saan ba makakabili ng smart outlet? 
or saan makakabili ng ilaw na automatic na turn on and off ko, di ba? Ngayon, sobrang... <laughs> oh, yung mga motion sensor pa, di ba? So, ngayon, parang uh, even though pumunta ka lang ng Shopee or Lazada, meron na eh. Sobrang, mm-hmm. sobrang accessible na nung ganong goods right mm-hmm. now, ganong equipment. Um, how do you see, kasi una, di ba, pag bibili ka ng bahay, you will be toured in this model house, model unit, yeah. ganyan naman yan eh. Mm-hmm. Papakita sa'yo, oh, ito magandang ayos ng bahay, tignan mo, okay yeah. yan all. Pero how do you see it changing the landscape of real estate wherein it's going to be a norm? Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi ako ha, isang isa pang point dyan. Right now, na with the work from home culture coming back, Uh, makikita natin that internet right now is really, really a necessity. So, kumbaga, build out ng, uh, ng network cable sa loob ng bahay mm-hmm. na dati hindi naman kasama yan. Puro electrical lang talaga tayo, di ba? Pero right now, that's going to be a standard. Mm-hmm. Sasabihin lang natin, oy, may wifi ito, ganito, ganyan. Yun yung intindihan na masay. Pero, it can be a plus point na meron kang network cable from first floor to second floor na nakaredy na. Mm-hmm. So, how do you see yung implementation ng, in a sense, IT or network or smart home equipment dun sa bagong i-offer ng industriya nyo? Okay. Um, for smart home kasi, I see it more for the premium market. Hmm. Kasi for, for kunyari, we call it economic housing, yung nasa mga 1.5 to 3 million. Hmm. Um, with that type of uh, market, It's more of what, um, actually, most probably, yung, yan yung mga new homes eh. Or uh-huh. parang first home, ganyan. Okay. For, for them, it's more of um, the structure of the house. And mm-hmm. anything na smart home would be an add-on later on. Mm. Kasi for them, the priority is housing eh. Ito. So, if you're looking for, for a property na built in yung smart home, you may find that in the high-end market. But mm. not in the mid to low end. Okay. Although, um, uh, medyo malayo sa smart home, but there is a developer in the south that provides solar, wow. even though they're developing row houses. So it's already tucked in the tucked in the the property. So yeah. part of the part of the property. Because right now, but even some developers, especially in Manila, since high rise, they cannot provide solar. Tama, tama. But there is one one um one developer that does that. So, row ha- naka-row house ka, or uh, maliit yung bahay mo, pero naka-solar ka. Okay. So, yeah. But if you're asking for smart home, um, mm-hmm. that's gonna be an add-on for, for premium um, mm-hmm. at, the, at, at the current time. But uh, moving forward, I think that's gonna be more of a standard kasi developers are continuously looking for ways mm-hmm. diba, to outsmart each other and Tama. to sell each other. Oh, diba? oh. So, mm-hmm. um, that's... That's gonna happen, and that's gonna be part of the purchase later on. Parang, and, I mean, it's an add-on kasi, especially uh, for, right for high-end market. Parang mm-hmm. they would start looking for, okay, what's what's new, what's what's um what's in this that that's not with the other developers. Tama. So, oh, and and I think no, is ako ah, per personally, isa sa magiging pwede ring maging angulo niyan is partnership with mm-hmm. ano with telcos. Because mm-hmm. let's say if if you have uh, let's say a developer for a subdivision, diba? uh It makes sense for a telco to partner with with uh, like you guys with a real estate uh, mm-hmm. company. Nah, okay, I will provide internet for all of the houses already. Because mm-hmm. for them, each house is a subscriber, ne, diba? Internet is equivalent to Meralco, to Power, yeah. to you na yun eh, yun na yun. <laughs> oh, oh, diba? Parang, exactly. So ang ano na to eh, para ang pwede na nalang makita dito, hindi na kada bahay ang titingnan ko as negosyo ko. Kung ako yung tipong mm-hmm. account owner ng, ng telco, uh, let's say, oy, account ko tong si ganitong real estate. Oy, hindi, liga, mag-partner na tayo. I'm going to invest my facility there. Yun nga, sabi mo kanina, di ba? It's mm-hmm. a, one, one part of that is the facility. So, if I'm going to invest my facility within your, uh, within your what you call the subdivision, uh, I will supply na the internet there. And then, whatever... Uh, whatever kanina yung nababanggit ko about syempre yung mga layout ng mga cable cable na yan yeah. that's that is a plus plus eh later yung iba diyan parang mm-hmm. kukuha pa ng contractor oy pakablihan mo nga ako from here yeah. to here diba tapos after na turn over and buy sa kanila papabakbak yung walls so yun ka, diba mm-hmm. so hassle diba i mean if hassle yun ang daming retouch pa ang daming additional gastos pero 
if it, it makes more sense on a business side to have it already. Tapos, tipong pag, mm-hmm. uh, if you launch it that way, na, okay, we are, actually, medyo, ano yun, ah, medyo, in a sense, double blade yun. Kasi, it depends on the telco also. Kasi, if, if you mm-hmm. bet, if yeah. you bet, if you bet on a telco <laughs> na medyo hindi maganda ang reputasyon, <laughs> oo, oh, ano ka dun eh, Tal- talo ka dun, talo ka dun. Uh, so, yeah, yun yung mga ano. Uh, That's usually, Ganun, diba? May ex- exclusivity ka pa. So, you cannot really opt out anytime. Exactly. Exactly. But, um, I think that, that that's about it. And it's 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 good that uh, we are seeing uh, other industries as well right now uh, coping up. So, that, that that's how, uh, what, that's that's actually what we want to share and know here naman eh. I think for, for the previous episodes, uh, we we talked about uh, resto bar, ano bang ano mm-hmm. bang anong industry nila, and it's good to hear for tonight about the the real estate uh, industry. Kumbaga, hindi naman to about ano eh, the the sales part lang, but it's mm-hmm. more on how are your houses being built. It's it's something that uh, kailangan yung maintindihan. I mean, for those who will be downloading this episode after, na oy bakit ba tumatagal yung construction? Ang usapan namin ganito lang eh. Eh, marami pong factors dyan. Like, Aniel mentioned, di ba? Nabawasan tayo ng mga contractor. Okay. Hindi pwedeng sabay-sabay sila magtrabaho. Actually, hindi lang yung nabawasan eh. Parang, during... Kasi nag-start yung construction nung hmm. naging GCQ ang Metro Manila. Actually, yeah. hindi ka lang pa condition na eh. Like, MGCQ, um, merong ibang developers that started construction. Apparently, um, government projects lang pala allowed because hindi malinaw yung rules. So, Oo, oh, may MGCQ to... pa nga pala nun, no? Uh, diba? <laughs> Oh. So, MGCQ, yeah. So, they had to stop construction. Tapos, during the GCQ, um, we, he, we cannot start immediately. Kasi mm-hmm. transportation was available um, noon na GCQ. So, that's the sure. only time we can bring the workers back to Metro Manila. Kasi noon na GCQ, they all went back home eh. Kasi wala, wala naman trabaho. Mm-hmm. So, um, isa pa yun sa naging issue namin. Kaya din, kaya din um, nagkaroon ng um, delays. Well, not yeah. exactly delay, Pero, um, that's one of the struggles um, when we started construction again during the GCP. Hmm, madami, madami talaga. And isa pa, I think, nagkaroon din ba kayo ng trouble with, ano? I mean, materials, uh, meron ba kayong mga materials na I think you you are importing or something like that? Yes, oo. Oh, so, kasi, um, yun, meron mga materials na naipit support kasi nga, yun, ng, ano, yung government office, tapos, um, Hassle, yung no? before na turnaround time na three months to mm. order, you have to extend that. So, yung planning mo ng, ano, ng supply and demand ng construction materials Totoo. to be accurate. <laughs> Kasi all the way sa ubusan ka na ano, Wala. Sirang-sira ang forecasting ng lahat for the past mm-hmm. seven months. Sobrang, ano eh, binulaga tayong lahat ano, eh. it's It's hard to, ano. Anyway, uh, before we wrap things up, uh, like what mm-hmm. we always do here with Preview by the New EU, uh, we're talking about the new real estate. So, in your opinion, in your personal take, uh, what does the future hold with the new, I mean, the new real estate with the with your industry? Okay. Um. Well, forecast. Um. Not going my opinion first. Ah. Um. But during the first quarter, it was forecasted that the real estate would take a hit by the fourth quarter of this year. So projection before was um, bababa ng mga fifteen percent ang value ng real estate. So that's a big. Uh, that's a big hit. Wow. For, for, 15% daw. So, <laughs> Buti ko mga 5% lang. 15? 50? Uh, yeah. 15, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pero yung, yung quarter 2 when they released the study, um, they still stuck with that. But then, um, ginawa nila is they, they pre- predicted it for the second half. The the impact of the, the pandemic would be felt by the second half. And then slowly recover by next year if we can continue by third quarter. Which... I don't think happened. <laughs> so, oh, I think the recovery must must have a or must have a But then for the future real estate, so I think um, of course we are going to bounce back, um, definitely, uh, mm. because people are gonna need houses. And in the Philippines, what Shame we have bro. millions of backlog in terms of housing. So um, that's it, that's a huge unserved market, and um, the. The challenge for real estate right now is how to cope up with that demand. Because mm-hmm. everybody's developing, um, everybody's developing high end because those are the people that can pay. But 
who would be the ones developing for the masses. Tama. Kasi nandun yung backlog eh. Nandun yung, yun yung mga walang bahay. So how oh, can you totoo. serve that market? So yun actually yung challenge for, for, for the future of real estate. How can you serve the underserved? Kasi you have a surplus of the economic housing, you have a surplus of the high-end housing. Actually, mas una pang ang nabibenta yung sold out yung high-end. Oo. Eh, kasi andun yung, yeah, ano eh, compared, andun yung buying market mo eh. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So, ano yun, parang yun yung naubos eh. And for some reason, sometimes you have the same same client. So, parang they, they buy from one one developer to the other within the same um bracket or mm-hmm. the same market. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same high-end market. Pero yun nga, um, the backlog really is with the masses. Mm-hmm. So, the challenge or the future for the SA is really can we serve that market. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, maganda dun, no? I mean, when we started the new you as well, this is, uh, well, it started as a bedroom pod- podcast uh, talking about society and culture. And we have that idea na society is never fair or it's never on a flat surface, di ba? Na pantay-pantay. Mm-hmm. We know that there's a triangle into it. And uh, yun nga, eh, kaya tayo merong market study, meron tayo mga class A, B, C, whatever classes are there. Yeah. And uh, as you can see there, if, if we talk straight, if we talk about it, like how we are talking at it right now, di ba? Madaling sabihin na, oh, bahay yan, may bibili yan. General talk, ganun yun eh. Pero, tama kasi yung, what we heard right now with Daniel, di ba? Na, we have to address what needs to be addressed. Yun, 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 yun yung pinaka point na gusto naman sabihin eh. Wherein, yung mga high-end houses, oo, oh, nabibili yun. Kasi, may pambili pa rin sila eh. Yun yun eh, may pambili pa rin sila. Uh, additional property for them is still okay, that's still good. Kasi may spare pa silang pambili. And why? Kanina, I'll go back also sa sinabi ni Aniel, di ba? Properties are going down. So, ibig sabihin, it's a good time for them to buy properties. Kasi, if they buy it some other time, tatasuli yung value and all. Pero, some of them also are doing, what they are doing is, you buy it now, and then later on, you sell it. That's business for them. Yeah. Hindi naman nila so, bumibili. So, ano yung benefit from really is yung may pera talag. <laughs> exactly. Exactly the point. And, and, and something na, I mean, I mean uh, marami kasing pwedeng maging takot. I mean, with uh, one yeah. of the core also na gusto namin sabihin with the new US, we, we hate gaslighting here. We, we hate uh, manipulation. Kasi, there's a lot of manipulative people in this world na right now. Wherein, pwedeng sabihin na, ah, oh, huwag ka munang bumili right now. Or, oh, hindi, bumili ka na yan. Okay yan, di ba? Without you even really understanding the current situation. Um, mm-hmm. Hindi rin naman namin sinasabi o oh, kung ano man yung decision namin para nagawin ninyo. This is actually a show that gives or shares insights from people in different industries that are really experienced. So, kumbaga, it's up to you. It's, it's good to listen to this podcast because I'm going to, to hear something new that I didn't hear in school or I didn't hear from anywhere. This, these are the things that you don't hear every day. Uh, hindi naman to laging napapag-usapan sa kanto or tipo pag ako makakita ng fishbowl or kung saan man, di ba? Or simpleng inuman. These are the things that we, don't, that, that we talk on those venue. But, um, here it's free. I mean, that's the reason why we have the new you. That's the reason why we have preview by the new you as a show, a podcast for you to, well, somehow, may mapulo tayo about certain things in life. Once again, Aniel, thank you. Thank you for the time. Thank you for tonight. Uh, it's really a fun discussion about stuff like this. Because I, I strongly believe that uh, this information should be free to the public. Uh, dapat nalalaman naman nila yun eh. Dapat natututunan. And it's good that with your experience, with your knowledge in this field, we shared something to them. So thank you, thank you for thank you for joining us for tonight. And thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, our pleasure. Ule, <laughs> ule, uh, kung meron tayo uling iba pang pag-uusapan, I mean, we can still go on to other topics and all. You're welcome to the show. Um, for for those who just tuned in, uh, na I mean, you see that? Ay, patapos na sila. Yeah, oh, pero you can download this episode afterwards. This is going to be available as a podcast in Spotify. Apple Podcast and the Google Podcast right after the show. Uh, you can check out also all of our previous episodes in our website, www.newuph.com. You can check out mula season 1 episodes namin. We talked about basketball. We talked about uh, body uh, body fitness. We talked about whatever, nutrition or what. Iba-iba talaga. Sobrang 
kalat-kalat. Kumbaga, kung if you want to learn something new, uh, treat this as your digital school. Digital school from real people, wherein people na nagtalagang experience to those fields. Um, you can follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, everywhere. The new is everywhere. And even though, well, we, we're, we're doing some changes with our site because we're adding articles as well. So, we are encouraging people to use the platform to write as well. So, kung meron dyan mga gustong magsulat, send us an email. Let's talk. Anything that you want to talk about with society and culture, sulat natin yan. But, for the new you, again, Aniel, uh, once again, thank you. Thank you for, for joining the show for tonight. Uh, ganda. Maganda yung at least the, the discussion that you shared, that we shared to, to the mass on Facebook. But right now, um, good night everyone. And uh, still, this is your black and white podcast. Still straightforward like what we did for tonight. Talking about things in general. Talking about things that we, we feel that everyone should know. And still in black and white. Always renew you. Good night everyone. Night guys.